Welcome to the television company Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. The 41st issue of Western Armenian magazine has been published. Sons of Western Armenia, Varazdat Kazanjan. The inhabitants of the demarcated villages of Tavush are suffering from a state of nervousness and fear. The Armenian Weekly News website drew attention to the 104th anniversary of the Treaty of Severus. There seem today. The Azerbaijani media were frightened by the historical reality. The process of repairing and restoring monuments in the Sunnic region has been monitored. The 41st issue of Western Armenian Weekly magazine has been published. The Armenian Vana Cat is on the cover of this issue. Van Cats are distinguished with their unique appearance and character. This breed is known for its white coat and eyes with different colors. One is blue, the other yellow or amber. Vankets are also known for their loveliness and activity. Many interesting materials are in the new issue as well, including a Zoom meeting dedicated to the 104th anniversary of the independence of Kilikia, what would happen if the genocide against Armenians did not happen, the third, Western Armenia island Ahtamar, Varagavank, Vankets are in danger of extinction in Western Armenia. And after Ardahan, reflection to the homeland, Wild Day of Indigenous Peoples, Baku erases Armenian culture, an article by a professor at Kafoskari University in Venice. And the samples from the period of the Van Kingdom in Western Armenia are displaced in the Kars Museum of Archaeology and Ethnography. The bones discovered as a result of exhibitions in Amasya supposedly belong to Armenians. Eastern Armenia appeared in the prestigious periodical Lonely Planet. These were the topics that you can find in this issue. And this issue of Western Armenia magazine gives readers an opportunity to gain a deeper understanding of the importance of Armenian heritage and the dangers that threaten our cultural values. This is an important step to preserve our history and identity, reminding us that our cultural roots are important, not only for the past, but also for the future. One of the sons of Western Armenia is Faraz Kazanjan, a founder of modern plastic surgery. He made a revolution in the field of plastic surgery. His pioneering use of medical technology to rid patients of defects in their look and to reconstruct faces after injury brought him fame during his lifetime. Faraz Kazanjan is remembered as one of the pioneers in this field. After surviving the Hamidian massacre in Western Armenia, Kazanjan moved to the United States, then entered Harvard Dental School and soon established as a talented oral and maxillofacial surgeon. His real fame came during World War I, when he was sent to France as part of the Harvard Orthopedy Group. Having operated on more than 3,000 cases of combat facial injuries, Kazanjan began to be called the miracle of the Western Front. For his efforts to save entente soldiers, King George V of Great Britain awarded Kazanjan the orders of St. Mikhail and St. George. After World War I, Kazanjan returned to Harvard University to complete his medical studies. Kazanjan became the first professor of plastic surgery at Harvard Medical School. Sigmund Freud, for whom Kazanjan made a prosthesis for a jaw affected by cancer, called him a wizard. The Indonesia Crisis Group studied and concluded in the partially demarcated villages of Tavuch region. The inhabitants of the demarcated villages of Tavush are suffering from a state of nervousness and fear. Olesa Vartanyan, the group's expert on South Caucasus issues, told Azatutun as follows. Even in the neighboring villages where they did not deal with delimitation, people are anxious. What will happen tomorrow? What awaits them in the future? There are many questions, but few answers, says the analyst. The news site Armenian Weekly recently focused on the Treaty of Severus, highlighting its historical significance and unfulfilled promises for an independent Armenia. The article emphasizes the support of American political and religious leaders in 1919 for C2C Armenia. The site urged modern Americans to remember this commitment and reflect on the continuing relevance of the covenant. It is necessary for the Armenian people to remind the current president of America, the people, churches, 
governors and universities for the existence of a united, free and independent Armenia from sea to sea Armenia, which was the demand of American religious, state and academic leaders. In 1919, a petition addressed to President Woodrow Wilson was supported by 85 bishops of the Church of America, 40 governors and 1,205 directors of prestigious universities. The interest of the weakest is as sacred as the interests of the strongest. President Woodrow Wilson delivered a speech at the Metropolitan Opera in New York on 27 September 1918. The preamble to the petition addressed to President Woodrow Wilson called on him to exert his influence ensure the establishment of an independent Armenia comprising the six Armenian vilayets, Kilikia and the Trabzon coastal regions, as well as the territories of Russia and Persian Armenia. In March 1919, the American Committee, led by the James Gerard, addressed President Woodrow Wilson demanding the creation of a free, independent, sea-to-sea -sea Armenia. Historically, there seemed now Tunjeli was part of Western Armenia. Before the Armenian Genocide of 1915, the region was one of the centers of the Armenian population with its Armenian churches and cultural heritage. Armenian history and cultural heritage still plays an important role in Dersim, despite the tragic events of the early 20th century, which led to the extermination or deportation of most of the indigenous Armenians. Today, the Dersim is mainly inhabited by Armenians and Alevi Kurds, who are struggling to preserve their rights and their cultural heritage. Today, the Armenians of Dersim are for the most part hidden away or transformed, but in recent years, interest in restoring and preserving their historical heritage has grown. Recently, alongside the Alevi courts of Dersim, some families have begun to restore their Armenian identity, repair Armenian churches, and take part in religious ceremonies. Although the community is very small and face significant challenges, interest in Armenian culture and heritage has been grown. The Dersim still bears its historical wounds, and the Armenian people continue to struggle for recognition of their history and their rights. For several days now, the Azerbaijani press has been reporting that the 2012 edition of the Foundation for the Study of Armenian Architecture has been found in Ruben Vartanian's office in Stepanakert, published by Nakhichevan Atlas. According to the Azerbaijan press, the card book is basically a forgery and territorial claim against Azerbaijan. In response to the false propaganda circulating, the Council of the Armenian Foundation for Research in Architecture announces that all the historical maps in the cartography are original and those created by the author, monumentologist, Samuel Karabetian National Center, Spence, Education Center, Christian and Muslim monuments have appropriate foundations. We also consider it necessary to mention that the monument maps were prepared with academic integrity, showing not only Armenian but also Muslim monuments. We believe that the Azerbaijani media have been frightened by historical reality, which has been carefully hidden and falsified by the Azerbaijani authorities for years, as well as the information documented on the Christian monuments on the map fully reveals the state vandalism prepared by Azerbaijan, as a result of which Armenian religious structures in the region have been completely destroyed over the last few decades, as well as funerary monuments, including the world-famous Vox Jura Cemetery. Employees from the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sport of Eastern Army and the Department of Historical and Cultural Reserve Museums and preservation of the historic environment visited Sunik region to discuss the process and problems of repairing and restoring monuments on site. The Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sport informed that in the Voyotavang Monastery complex in the village of Vagadin, with the head of Sunyat's diocese and the spiritual pastor of the Goris region, the damage fences of the complex, the improvement of the rear and other issues were discussed. In the 5th century, Vorotan Fortress, located in the village of Vorotan, reference was made to possible excavations. The access road to the fortress and other problems. The need to restore the damaged parts of the Malik Tangu bridge in the area adjacent to it was also discussed. The area of the Aritu village monument, the problems of possible removal of gas pipes and structures disturbing the favorable visual perception of the monument, and the improvement of the area were also addressed. This was all for today. Goodbye.